Welcome back to the Cello Zone. This is our part two on hooked bows for doing warm-ups and exercise ideas for Farmer in the Dell in D major and Row, Row, Row Your Bow in A major. So last video we introduced D major on the low two strings. One extended two, four, open G, one extended two, four, open D. That was our new fingering pattern. And if you look at your row, row, row your boat sheet music from um, this packet, you can see I've written in the A major scale fingering for one octave if we started on the G string. And it's the exact same fingering that we just learned from the low octave of D major. Here's the D major version. first finger let's play the D major one octave scale just for review in the low on the low strings I'll guide you through it start with first finger on the C string exact same fingering. Make sure you've got a good extension, your leverage in your arm, you're finding that comfortable angle. It's not going to work if your cello is way out here, far away from your head. It's got to be a little bit closer. And keep your wrist straight. Don't crank it like this or like that. Let's take that same exact fingering, bump it over to the G string. Bump it up a string. We're going from D major, two sharps, up a fifth up a string to A major, three sharps. So same exact fingering, bump it up a string. Now we're doing a one octave A major scale. Let's review those pitches. Start on first finger on the G string now. You can tune to your open A. Keep that extended shape. Here we go. First finger. Now extended second finger. for row, row, row your boat. We have the same um, rhythm as uh, Farmer in the Dell, quarter note with and an eighth note on the same bow hooked, but now the eighth note, the second note, has a staccato. So instead of doing nice smooth um, bows like Farmer in the Dell, we need this, the eighth note to be articulated like a staccato note. So when we pause to create the clarity between the two notes on our single bow, we then will play a short note for the eighth note, like this. You hear how it's very short, that eighth note, but not so short that it just becomes a crunch. You have to find that sweet spot on your bow where you get just enough bow to make the short staccato note happen but not so short that the only thing we hear is the bow noise activating the note on the string. What we're going to do is um, focus on the hooked bows to begin with. Uh, so if we're doing um, our A major scale, we could use the pattern from Farmer in the Dell, the first measure pattern, and that's our harmonic rhythm is an entire measure of 6-8, but now we're going to do it in A major, one octave, with the staccato eighth note. Okay, there's our first finger tuned up, and we'll go something like this. Really focus on that staccato note, okay? Um, let's go a little slower, give you a chance to coordinate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, ready, and go.
right so you can see it plays a little bit different than the farmer in the dell smooth version did this is uh you have to be very particular very specific with how you're bowing and articulating in the hand and putting your weight into the stick it's not easy so give yourself plenty of time to work on this new technique it's not easy for two reasons we've got that double or we've it, we're extending on multiple strings forwards sharp extension plus this difficult bow pattern so give yourself plenty of time now um, our harmonic progression will go from the dotted half note which is an entire measure to the dotted quarter note so kind of like our first measure in row 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 your boat where we're going like this uh, that's the dotted quarter note so now we'll do hooked bows and change our note of the scale every dotted quarter note as far as the harmonic progression the harmonic rhythm goes it will sound something like this so every time we change a bow direction we change a note of the scale here we go a major and with our extensions on the g and the d string one two three four five six one two three four five six to do where it gets uh, smaller by one level is to change our note of the scale every time our rhythm changes like this <laughs> Moving forward. Let's try it. One, two, four, oh, one, two, four, oh, with that extension. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> stuck on that same note. It's, it feels harder for me, at least, to do it like that. It's much easier when we're changing notes like that. Okay, the scale stuff is going to be super helpful for you as you're working on your hooked bows, as you're getting used to new keys like A major and D major in the low strings, which use a lot of extension. Remember, uh, with A major, now we don't have an open C string or an open G string. We have to do half position to play those uh, notes. You just lose two of your open strings, and you have an A major extension on the C, G, and D string. It's not easy. Uh, it's a difficult key, and the sharp keys only get more and more extended forward and lose more open strings so it's like kind of the beginning of that difficult side of the sharp keys i just want to add um another idea for how you can practice your a major scales for row 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 your boat of course we were doing in the last or the previous play along video we're doing the dotted quarters like in measure one of row 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 your boat with the A major scale. Um, and what we didn't do is talk about uh, measure five where it goes. We talked about the arpeggio context, but you can also use that pattern for your scale. So if you need a break from the hooked bows, try out this pattern. Let's do it together. And that will close out our video for today. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, go.
play it a little slower, pause the video, rewind, change the video playback speed, or get out your metronome and find the speed that works for you. I hope that this was helpful for how to achieve hooked bows in two different styles and to give you some ways to practice across these two pieces, which use a lot of the same techniques, both in their extension on the low strings and with their hooked notes in the bow. All right, good luck and happy practicing. Mm-hmm.